Hello, I'm Brian Tracy, and welcome to The Brian Tracy Show. Today, we're here with a remarkable man, Jeffrey Coombs, who has learned and taught some of the most amazing and important things on the development of the human mind and human potential, perhaps in the world today. He's worked with some of the biggest stars in our field. He has trained people. Extraordinary man. Jeffrey, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, Brian. Now, tell us a little bit about what you do. First of all, I want to tell you how much I appreciate all you've done and the opportunity to be here with you today. Well, Brian, I've, I've been an entrepreneur most of my life, and I specialize in addictions, cause and effect, why people do what they do. I also assist people to understand the value service required to really be and stay in business. Right. You know, a large percent of the population that wants to be in business has no real understanding of how to be in business because they let their emotional addictions run their brain. Right. Well, now, you uh, have a vision, value, purpose, mission. You could have done many different things in life. So why did you choose this part? Where is your, why is your passion in this area of work? It was not by design. I ended up in this phase of, of assisting people after a long journey. I started out in business in the 80s in network marketing, direct sales. That was the first business model that I really had some success in. And I considered starting my own company, but I ended up becoming a success coach back in 1998. And I originally started assisting people to learn how to sell. That's what I was really good at, was sales and marketing. But it, as a recovering addict myself, I realized really quickly that many of my clients, I could teach them the technical know-how, but their beliefs were not empowered. Yes. They would, they would revert back to a familiar behavior and they would be, stay emotionally addicted to the feelings that drove their non-actions. Right. So I assisted people to understand why they do what they do, specifically avoidance, procrastination. There are a lot of people in this field today. What is it that you're doing that makes you different, special, uh, unique, better than anybody else out there? Well, I like to think I'm good. There's so many great people in the industry, as you know. And like I said, you have... You have really blaze the trail. So I've been a student of yours for well over 25 years. What I do that I feel is unique and brings me a great value and service to people is to assist people to understand why they do what they do, the cause that creates the effect. Yes. Now there's the technical know-how which many people want to know the how do I. Unfortunately a lot of people that want to know the how do I, they don't understand why they do what they do. So they get stuck emotionally. So I assist people to understand the cause that creates the effect of their emotional addictions. Yes, well, you know, that's really great. I think what you're doing is the most important thing of all, removing people's blocks, is getting changing their thinking patterns, their neural connections and all of that. So can you give us a, an example or a story of a, of a before and after? This is what the person was, this is what they learned, this is what they became afterwards as a result. Well, one of my greatest students is a woman named Alexis Romano. Five years, she drove five hours to see me speak in Syracuse, New York. She hired me to be her coach that day back in June of 2011. She was a high school guidance counselor, making six figures, but she was not empowered by the job she had. Now, she was a very resourceful woman. She also owned a real estate business. She did fix and flips and also did remodels, etc. And she had a really good real estate background, but she wanted out of her career. And what I assisted her to understand was how to really own a business and how to really be that woman that she was capable of being. Now, I coached her for three years, and in that transformation, I watched her go from being a waitress, a house cleaner, a real estate investor, and a teacher to becoming a multiple six, seven-figure income earner in a direct sales model. She unequivocally is one of my best students. And there's another woman named Susan Sly, who I watched have a similar transformation. In 2011, I had four women hire me at the same time within a 90-day period. All four of those women went on to become multiple, six, and then eventually seven-figure income earners in a three-year period that I was coaching them. Now, I'm not responsible for their results, but I was responsible for that hour that they would hire me every other week. Right. And I was, I was a component of their belief that would assist them to make that transition. Wow. So how could people reach you if they want to learn more about what you can do for them? Well, I'm easily found. You can go to my website, 
And I also have a free offer for people who want to take advantage of it, a four-part free series. It's jeffreycombsdigitalcoaching.com. Wow, and that's, that's the address. And there's the CDs, uh, DVDs, videos. Uh, downloads and videos. Downloads and videos. That's great. Now, since you're so experienced, Jeffrey, tell our viewers one piece of success advice that you would give them for anybody who's out there struggling and doesn't feel they're realizing their potential. What's the one best piece of advice you could give them? Well, there's one word that very few people integrate, and that is a great question. Very few people use the word commit in their communication style. You can't commit unless you're committed. There's a, there's a huge separation in the neurological brain between interest and committed. So most people seldom use the word commit in their communication style. The most important piece of insight that I would share with people listening today is your words are your law. Words do not return void. And the words that you use day to day drive your action or your inaction, which is your difference between your belief or your disbelief. So, Dis t so talk to yourself in a positive and constructive way all the time. Well, true, but there's more to it than that. There's a, there's, being positive is an asset, but being objective is, is a reality. And like people say, I want to live on the beach. Well, there's also, if you're going to live on the beach, then you have to determine what beach. You have to be clear. You have to, your communication style has to be in alignment with your vision. If your communication right. style is disconnected, then you're telegraphing a mixed message. And in that mixed message, you'll attract your reality, people and situations that fulfill your feelings. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with the law of attraction. Yes. I teach the science of it. Right. There's an inner game to attraction. If you don't understand that inner game, then you're in a mixed message of it. You can be positive all day long, right. but if you're not clear in your communication, then there's a separation between your brain and your body. Unfortunately, a large percent of societies, body runs their brain because they're, an emotional, out of, they're emotionally checked right. out. That's great. So if you're interested in learning more about this and getting this free four-part program to get you launched forward, and I know I've studied this material all my life, this can transform your life and sometimes faster than you could imagine. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank, Thank you, you Brian. My absolute privilege, pleasure, and honor to be here with you.